Good morning traders and welcome to the Elliott Wave Street Free Weekly Update. I'm Juan Maldonado and it's a pleasure to share with you some of our wave counts. This is just a sample. You can subscribe to our membership and receive our daily analysis. Every day updated wave counts on different markets, stocks, forex, futures and more. Please read our disclaimer at ElliottWaveStreet.com. Let's start with the euro. The euro is on the weekly chart in a very important level. In a level that is so important that we need to really watch this week. So let me show you the main wave count on the weekly chart. This is the long term analysis. The plan on the euro, the main plan that I have, is that the wave 2 is likely to reverse soon this wave 2 and my target is going to be the previous low right here now it seems that we are going to have the validation or invalidation pretty soon the invalidation happens if the price visits the 115 area if the price hits with a with a candle tail or with a close above wave 2 it will invalidate the setup if the price does something different, let's say that the price starts doing something completely different, like, if, for example, a reversing, I will tell you in, in a second, the lower time frames, how that reversal will show up, we will target the previous low. So that's my main scenario. That's my main scenario to have the price coming down here to where the wave one ended. Now let's have a look at the lower time frames in order to plan the trade inside. We have enough time, so don't worry. It's going to take uh, some four-hour candles or some uh, hourly candles to build up the setup. So now that the euro is so expensive because the euro has been going up to this area, we know that a um, we have to be careful clearly it's not the time to buy the euro so we have to be careful here are the scenarios i think that the euro is likely to give us another uh, leg up before we have the the reversal so first of all we will need to have on the euro the the price a coming up here will be something like this a leg up above this level without hitting the 115 so we have a, a little little price here in order to avoid the invalidation and if we have the price coming up here and reversing in a five wave sequence one two three four five then three up that's where i'm going to plan my sell trade if only if we have this pattern, a five down and a three up. Now, what if, what if we have the euro uh, doing the reversal right now? You know, like what if we have on the euro the five wave sequence happening here? One, two, three, four, five, and then the ABC up. Well, in this scenario, I will call here the end of wave two and then I will go with wave one, wave two, and I will sell at the end of the wave two. So let's see which one is going to happen at the end. Let's see which one is going to be validated, if this one or the other, or if the price hits the 115, something different on the weekly chart will be going on and we will need, anyway, I think we, we will have a retrace but something different will, will, will be happening and we can have a higher euro if that happens as an alternative scenario. So we are at the moment where we need to be extremely careful, have our uh, open eyes, our mind completely open in order to be able to trade under this euro. But we might be very close if, if, this, if this is not a high, we might be very close to the end of the trend. So we have to be careful there. Let's have a look at the S&P. The S&P is having a lot of trouble and I have some concerns because look, 
uh, we have this corrective wave and the price fails again to break up the high. I was expecting today to see the S&P break into the upside, but no, it seems that it wants to continue bouncing here inside. So let's have this channel line and the trend line. We need to, to watch this thing closely because in case we have a bearish breakout, we can have a deeper wave too. We can have the price going lower and making a deeper leg, right, on the S&P. In general terms, like in the big trend, I think we need more room. We have more room to the upside. I think we can very easily continue climbing and, and visit the 3,400 area. But the next question is how, how fast is going to make it? Because in general terms, since I called the end of this wave X right here and the prices started to go up, the forecast has been working fantastic. And before, it was tricky because during this move up, I was thinking that the S&P was going to continue lower. So I, I found that out that the S&P was going up since here, not since here. But if we go to the lower time frames again, I have that concern. You know why the momentum is not here yet? Why the momentum is not showing the wave 3 yet? And with all this time that have ha happened, I have some concerns. You know, if we have a bearish breakout of this thing, the S&P could very easily go right here to the previous wave two, could break out, we can go back to the 3000 area. That's an alternative scenario. So I hope the S&P can uh, break out uh, to the upside and uh, validate this trade plan. All right, and let's have a look at uh, the silver, I have the silver as one of the new instruments along with natural gas that we added recently to the membership. So from now on, you are going to receive daily updates also if you sign up on silver and natural gas. Actually, last week we found a fantastic trade on natural gas. So, so this is silver. Uh, silver seems to be bullish from the weekly chart. I have a um, concern uh, once silver reaches the high. Because once silver reaches the high, we are going to start, a, well, it's already there, right? But once it moves a little bit higher, better, we're going to start finding the end of the, of the leg. And we can have another leg down back to this area on the longer term. So we are at a key level to watch on silver because it will be telling that soon it could start reversing. All right, so let's get ready because once we have the silver reversing, we are going to start finding the top of the market and we are going to start following the leg down. All right, traders, so that's the plan for this week. Now I want you to go to our website elliotwavestreet.com let me open it up and here you are going to visit the membership tab also if you want to find more about our system our training course go to the education tab there you, you're going to find all the details and here in the membership tab you're going to find the a forex service the stock service or the full access service depending on the instruments that you trade uh, we have now silver and natural gas in the commodities and indices. So it's a good addition. If you trade these instruments, you are going to love the daily wave counts. So you pick your plan and you start receiving the daily updates, the trade ideas and everything else. Please have a fantastic trading week, a trading session. And I'll see you inside the membership. Take care. Bye-bye.